Kala and I are here in Culebra, but we are no longer stuck, which is good news. Still are not able to get tested. We've contacted the USVI government, filled out all of our docs, got denied, and then sent them an email uh, just explaining our situation, and we got an exception to the rule. We're going to go tomorrow. You like being in Spanish country for a while? Yeah. Yeah, it was good, huh? Yeah, not bad at all. Plus, we got to brush up on some Spanish. <laughs> Holly says I, I'm horrible at Spanish because I, I have an Italian accent mm -hmm. when I talk Spanish. You even do this. Hola, amigo. Hola. <laughs> I think I got good Spanish skills. I don't know what she's talking about. Today is the day, though. We just got to plot a course, drink some coffee, turn the engine on, and go to St. Thomas. We also just discovered that we ran out of water, so we have to find a place to make some water as well. Let's go to St. Thomas. So there's St. Thomas right here. We are hard on the wind and we are sailing. We've got a squall off our starboard side. We've got a squall off our port side. So we're just kind of sailing in between these two storms, using the wind off of the storms to make our way. Boat's healed over really good. I think we're a little overpowered. Okay, so we made it to the USB Oz last night. We're here in Charlotte, Amali. And we have one last thing to do before we're free to go explore the country. So we have to go down and find the National Guard and show them our QR code, which proves that we uh, don't have COVID. So that's what we're gonna go do now. Okay, so the check-in process was super easy. Um, all we had to do was show them our QR code. They scanned it and said, we're good to go. It took less than a minute. So we were able to get that done. We got some provisions. We topped up our fuel. And now we are heading out of this busy anchorage to find some place more in nature. Places like this are cool to get things done. We like nature better. About 270 degrees of the shoreline in this anchorage is concrete wall. The swell comes in here and just bounces off of walls in every direction and the anchorage is like, it's very, very rough. So we're gonna go try to find a place a little calmer, a place where we can swim. A beautiful Caribbean anchorage. Look at this dude. We're gonna go right across our bow, look at this. I know we're in the sail, but I mean, our boat's not that damn slow. Yeah, that's Buck Island right here. The islands we're going to, we gotta go around that point. Once you get around this point right here, you better see them. They're right there. It's called Greater St. James. Not very far, about six miles. Uh, it'll probably be closer to 10 or 12 because we're actually gonna have to tack our way to it. That's fine. We got all afternoon. It's a gorgeous afternoon and we got 15 knots of constant breeze. Fish on! Yeah! Finally! Don't lose them. <laughs> Pressure's on. Damn Barracuda! Right Alright, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Teeth on that dude. Oh, really he stinks. First fish we've caught in a long time. Ugh. Hold on, dude. I'm gonna get you on this. Wasn't the best fish, but it was a fish. Yeah, we don't eat barracuda. We tried.
so we made it here to Christmas Cove, a much calmer Anchorage. I think we're going to enjoy our time here. We might extend our stay to like a week or so. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hard to leave here and go back to the spot we, were ju we just came from. <laughs> oh my lord, that place was oof, yeah. something else. Looks like a really cool beach to explore and lots of nature. Yeah, so it's beautiful. Should be nice. So we're in th almost 40 feet of water and you can see the bottom. Yeah. Like you see the shadow of the boat on, in the sand though, <laughs> below the boat. Yeah. So perfect spot to do some chores that we've been needing to do. Clean the bottom of the boat is uh, like a high priority right now. Yeah, but we can have some beers first. Oh well, yeah, I mean, we'll be here for a few days, so. Got it done? They're all in my hair, dude. Oh, <laughs> breath bad. Yeah, Ugh. that's a lot of shrimps. <laughs> oh, no. You got them. Oh. They're everywhere. Up in your here. ears, up your nose. Everywhere. Your hair. <laughs> in my mouth. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, so gross. Dude, I have got shrimp. Oh, oh. my god, <laughs> <It's> horrible. <laughs> I'll have to shave my head. You're not gonna have to shave your head. Look at that. I see the shrimp. They're gonna die. And they're gonna fall out. What's up, lady? What you doing? ordering a pizza from this pizza boat over here. So I'm getting us a pepperoni pizza and our root beer float with rum. Very interested in this root beer float with rum. A perfect day in paradise. I don't know if I've ever said this before on our channel, but our dinghy is named Flat Bastard because he goes flat all the time and we have to pump him up. Every day. Every day, sometimes twice a day. Yeah. So flat bastard. this is part of our daily routine here. <laughs> Okay, so you gotta give name credit. We didn't come up with the name ourselves. Our friend Don from Sailing Rock a Little came up with the name after he rode in our dinghy. My bastard does good though. It it's always, still kicking. It's, yeah, it's a beast of a dinghy. Dude. Yeah. This thing has been through a Cat 5 hurricane and sitting in the sun for at least five years, still floats. So I have nothing bad to say about the Cree dinghies. You gotta put your back into it. Almost. <laughs> Come on, flat bastard. Flat bastard. <laughs>